Hello folks and welcome to Era North Chronicles. Today we'll be starting a new game in the Chosen mode and uh, we will be playing with uh, brand new archetypes of Tenebra and Occultist together. So let's uh, have a look on our character which I have already made up here. Uh, organization Ordo Tenebris uh, because we'll be focusing on Shadow Magic and Shadow Allies and Ordo Tenebris have uh, uh, some good options of, from both. Uh, we'll be playing with uh, Tenebra Elemental and uh, this is our characteristics right here and our biography. Uh, I will be playing with uh, the new occultist archetype of the philosopher class. This is our our characteristics right here. You will notice that uh, the philosophers uh, no longer get uh, invention by default. Only the inventor and the polymath now get invention. The alchemist and the occultist doesn't have uh, the invention skill. And uh, finally we'll be picking uh, the cultist, which again interacts well with our lesser uh, Shadows and our shadow allies overall. Uh, this is the attributes I set one point in infernal, one in shadow magic, one in diplomacy, and my attributes like so. But thinking about it, I think I will go with this instead. Okay, and uh, starting kit we have the Philosopher Gear part uh, number 4. We are Morpheus and this is our starting collection. Ok, so let's uh, jump right in. We are in Grice book, we'll uh, have a look in our character sheet. We can afford to get the perk and I will go with the Noviciate. Now this requires level 3 because in Chosen uh, all the actions has, have an additional tier so uh, this item is now tier 2. Let's go to our deck builder. Equipment we have this uh, lesser amulet of power and this uh, shadow monster's ring which are both equipped you'll notice that all my cards has uh, extra tiers the ability to grow higher in power because we are in chosen mode also because we are in chosen mode we get the laterns and our deck starts empty. Okay, Sado Invocation, yes. Imp, not yet. Fair, yes. We can have up to four copies. So, four lesser shadows. Sado Conduit, uh, yes. The yes uh, for the shadow content uh, goes mostly for the strength and shadows part because we don't have much uh, uh, cards that will affect our concealment or they will boost our amplify so we don't we won't be able to channel uh, these effects most of the time.
It's not uh, two methodic doubts. And now it's time to open our lanterns. Hypnotic eye. Fixation. Uh, needs alchemy. We don't have points in alchemy, unfortunately. Death vision. Uh, and darkness. Does this? So, so far, we still need five cards. Strife, very nice. Abyssal Hunt is a first choice. I will uh, start a fixation and uh, I still need one card for my deck so I will put my imp and here we are this is our deck lots of cards that are just fillers we will replace them as soon as we are able but for now Uh, let's also save it as uh, our starting deck. Replace this one. Our backpack has uh, these uh, five cards here. So at least one will be if these uh, are the three, we'll uh, get one of these, which will be good. We'll have a stun and bewitch solution if needed. Okay, uh, let's uh, jump into Christ book Mars. Let's start with the Shadow Missile. We can use this uh, ring now to get Shadow Shift 12, make 6 of it into damage and also drain to kill this one completely.
Now you notice that when we play allies our concentration is uh, drained much faster. Which uh, is not ideal but that's how it is. Uh, did I put this into my deck? Yes, I put it into my deck. But it's okay. That's good. That's good actually because we can recoup it. First Grimoire, we have it, Illusionist Robes, Renegades Leather, Vriska's Wand, Vriska's Wand. We can also add it to our deck to have something to recall. And uh, speaking of my deck, I can now remove a card that perhaps I don't want, like uh, one of these. We are losing uh, life from Embrace Shadows, it's a recurring card, we keep playing it. Uh, it's turn and get uh, whenever we played this uh, amplify we also craft shadow magic card and we whenever we uh, use amplify we also get concealment uh, but this benefits this belt because we started the encounter so we will have them in the next turn People Sado Shift. Okay, so now we have both our Amplify and our Concealment and uh, also Resolve. I'll get uh, one attack. Let's uh, recoup. Uh, we can't use our rim. This is a fire aversion node. I didn't draw it, I let it go to my discard pile, so it won't bother us down the road.
let's remove the imp since we can't use it here in this area we are Let's now use the shadow invocation. Now notice we have concentration 2. I'm playing a shadow, it's a card, so it costs 1 and it's an ally. So it costs 2 and I'm suddenly down to 0. And uh, this will become progressively more expensive. But uh, what I can do is use the amulet here to get some strength but uh, it wasn't enough okay still this one will be much stronger Bring a saddle. Uh, let's use recoup. Bring our wand of spider skis. Use it here. And I will uh, let uh, the frog be, or I will just keep him. Look for tracks, follow the tracks, enter the cave. Sado allies plus six. Let's kill him with a drain. Weaken. Super. 
recoupe. Okay, so let's look around. We have uh, some alchemy cards, we have a venom gland and linen. I will uh, get the I will get the hemlock extract. Equip the cloak. I will keep my Shadow Monsters uh, ring for now. And uh, we unlocked Grice Book. We can now enter. Or we could always enter. Probably. Okay, uh, let's. Um, Let's rest at the inn. A brand new day with opportunities. I will get the strive. Now, plenty of good options. Let's review our equipment. Uh, we have a Diplomat coach in our armor slot, a Shadow Mancer's ring, a Lesser Amulet of Power, and a Worm Cloak. I mind this nice moonstone talisman. And we could get perhaps a cookery or Get the cookery. Okay, so equip the cookery, equip the talisman. We unequip this. Now that we bought, uh, we strive and have two copies, its price went up. Um, no, I think we are good to go. Let's go to our uh, deck builder. And the second strife. One argument. Okay. 
don't sell him, look. I will keep this stuff for now. We'll also keep the alchemy cards. Okay, so now we can uh, go down to Hirtwood. We can't do any challenges yet. We are too green. So should I stay here in Grice Book and uh, do the Mars once more? I think I will. Let's uh, dismiss this. Let's uh, multicast something or I will start with this. Now multicast my shadow spear. Unfortunately he survived. So the shift gives us concealment that makes our attack into a critical. We can so the shift sneak attack. Look into my eyes. Essence, we can get some essence.
так. Now applying, uh, we can also heal us while we have this uh, uh, effect. This effect from Shadow Grasp. Whenever you apply Wicked this turn, heal too. So it's a great way to restore life that you have lost. Argument Eldritch Rebuke Hellfire Helix Shadow Missile Decked Let's uh, use this. Let's use this to weaken. Multicast this. Passes the vulnerable onto the next target. Use this to weaken, use this for the shadow shift and sneak attack. Let's multicast the Shadow Spear. Rally doesn't help. Use this. Thank you. 
Yeah, thanks for one. And we completed the area. Um, we can uh, stash one more for this. Might be more useful later on than earlier on. And the Shadow Mage's robes. Mm, currently we wear the Diplomat's coat. Synergy damage, if, uh, synergy damage, defend, resist, dark, and weaken. This is more useful, admittedly. So, we still need to explore uh, the area once more to get uh, a level. Let's see. Assuming we get a level, we want do anything here. What about in Mirai? We might do this treasure. But it has aversion to our element. We could head up in Lanmerich. Do the caverns and then do the slavers then. And then maybe go do the Magnus curve. There is also Galdorax Slayer, but we don't have the firepower to defeat six Galdorax at this stage. Or we can go down to Inford. I think. I will head up to Lanmerich and do the caverns and then do the slavers then. Let's uh, multicast the Shadow Missiles and uh, drain this guy. We have concealment, so that's a sneak attack. Call some Shadows. Okay, we'll be leveling up in these states, that's very good. This is terrible. Sado missiles. the auto attack button ghost shield debate sturdy rope stash one debate now we have them embrace the shadows, which will uh, make us lose life.
that character doesn't have much life too. I got a level. We are full. Just level up these cards. Not level up, give them some XP that is. Okay. Shadow Blades. Uh, yes, I will add one of them to my deck. We can remove one of these. And one of the doubts. Let's multicast our ring. Let's channel some amplify. Points. On the bright side, we escaped one of the Gaul Bites. We also escaped his attack because he will be using his benefactor healing. One Gaul Bite, benefactor healing. Resisted number weights, but uh, we can kill him in the meantime. Let's use this. And uh, we can stash a fixation. We have uh, gained a level, so we will be increasing our alchemy.
So now whenever we apply Weaken, we also heal. Action will control this enemy. Grab the body armor and one essence. Okay, so we gained a level. This is where I will uh, stop the video and we will be resuming from uh, this point in the next video. We didn't do much, but we couldn't do much anyway as a level one character, so things will get more interesting as we are growing a bit more in power. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Many more adventures await uh, our Tenembra Occultist, so we'll be seeing you next time. Have a good night.